Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and uh, yeah, that is exactly what the title says. Wizards of the Coast, Magic the Gathering Division, is uh, giving away $1 million in prizes in one weekend. Now this is not a $1 million giveaway, that's what all the titles and crap make it look like, so I'm kind of parodying it with the title of this video, but um, cumulatively is what would have been nice to add to that. Uh, the top prize that they're giving away is 150000 though, which is, you know, pretty damn good. The problem is, um, I'm fairly certain, though not 100% certain, that the first place person at every tournament gets 50 grand. I mean, you know, maybe not every tournament, but like, I don't know, a Grand Prix Pro Tour or whatever. I could have sworn 50k is the top prize. Um, and I think they pay down to like 16th or 32nd, depending upon anticipated attendees. So if they hold it, you know, on the damn International Space Station like they usually do, uh, then nobody shows up. You know, somewhere idiotic like Hawaii, one of the hardest and most expensive, most distant places to fly to on the entire planet Earth. Or some horrifically dangerous location like Brazil. Yeah, you're not going to get quite the turnout that you would if you held it in, you know, America, where you are and your customers primarily are. Seriously, their unhealthy obsession with looking multicultural is killing their business and it's killing the tournaments. Anyway, let's just pretend the, the top prize for sure was 50k, because I'm pretty sure I read that. Um... It's 50000 per person. They haven't changed anything because they're three-person teams. And plus, by the way, if you haven't heard about that, the format is so stupid. They call it Team Trios. Uh, and this is the Pro Tour, which is supposed to be, you know, whatever. Like, um, I don't even know what will be out when they're, when they're holding this. My God, it might be the core set. Oh, no, it's uh, September 2018. So that will be Dominaria. So this should be the Dominaria uh, Pro Tour. So yeah, they're holding a team thing where your whole team has to, I don't know, rack up points together or some dumb thing. I, you guys know I don't follow Pro Magic because it's just such a joke, which is kind of the point of this video. So you're going to have three person teams, one person plays standard, one person plays modern, one person plays, uh, legacy? They wouldn't play vintage. There's no way in hell it's vintage. It's one of the two, but I'm pretty sure it's legacy. Vintage, just have them flip the damn coin and, and get it over with. Don't even get out the cards. No, seriously, don't. Your deck's $50,000. Do not take them out of your backpack. That's dangerous. So, oh boy, $150,000 for first place, even though it's fifty k per person. It says that right in the chart. So here's my sequence of events. Just a theory. Keep this in mind. Wizards was like, oh, crap. We're spending nearly a million dollars on this Team Trios crap because we're not going to take 50000 and split it three ways. I mean, people would start complaining about that. So do we give away double and just say split it three ways or do we just triple it? So I think they're like, eh, we'll have to triple it. We'll get bad press if we don't. People already don't respect the level of uh, prizes that are at these tournaments. Or the tournaments themselves, the announcing, the live streaming, the decks, or pretty much anything else. So they were like, oh crap, we're giving away almost a million dollars. Hey, wait a minute, let's just, let's make this a thing. We're already doing it. Let's make it sound like it's it's a thing that we did on purpose instead of on accident. No joke, I seriously think Wizards was like, well, if we're going to give away a million dollars, we might as well, you know, make it a big sensationalist nonsense thing. So as far as I can tell, they tweaked the prize pool a little bit because it pays down to 64th place, first of all, but only a grand. Um, and then 33rd through 48th gets 2,000, 25th through 32nd gets 3,000, uh, 17th through 24th get 4,000, and then 9th through 16th, which is where the big money is, uh, that's 5 grand, um, let's see, 5th through 8th, that's 9,000, and 3rd and 4th both get, uh, 15,000, that's kind of weird, actually, they're, so no matter what place you come in, you get the same reward, at third and fourth place like fifth through eighth i get it those suck but really third and fourth they could just show up and refuse to play because what the hell is the point that is funny actually um so yeah then second place gets 24 grand which is strangely not 25 grand and then first place gets 50k so not bad so this is such just, like, exaggerated nonsense. I mean, that's about what they have to pay out to get people to even be interested in showing up. At least people who are interested in the prizes. People have sponsorships. They don't give a crap. I mean, they do kind of care if they win, but it's not, oh, I hope I get $3,000. Nah. Now, need I remind you that almost the entire bottom half would be expected to have spent uh, more money on their three decks than the prize money is actually worth. So they're actually still losing money. I mean, okay, you can use the decks at multiple events, but, well, not really, because it's the first one I've ever heard of that had Legacy. I'm sure they've done it in the past, but it sure as hell has been a while. 
So this will really piss you off, unless you're like me and don't give a crap about ProMagic and don't ever want to participate in that flaming dumpster fire. Um, your whole team has to show up to the RPTQ. So you all have to get together at the same one, and then it says, uh, players who qualify this way, if able, must, or must if able, compete with the team they qualified with at the RPTQ. Well, what, what constitutes not able? Like, I mean, I guess if they, like, died or something, what if they're like, oh, I decided not to go to the Pro Tour because I have better things to do with my time and money? Well, you just disqualified your entire team. Congratulations. And you better hope that, since luck is a huge, huge, huge factor in competitive magic, that your entire team all, by sheer luck, did not get mana screwed or, you know, whatever. This Team Trios thing is a disaster. It is the stupidest thing I've heard of in Pro Magic lately. But besides that, who cares? I'm not playing. I, I might go to the PPTQ, the preliminary one, just to piss people off and beat them. I really, really, really hope that you don't have to um, show up with a team for that, because then it would probably not be three standard teams and nobody I know has a legacy deck. But anyway, here's my deal with this. Wizards knows that cheating has been getting worse and worse and worse lately. At least that's what it would appear. It's kind of hard to gather accurate data when they never talk about it. Anytime somebody cheats, unless it's already, you know, broken onto the internet as a huge story, they sweep it under the rug. So somebody gets ejected and disqualified. Everybody at the tournament's talking about it. Everybody's tweeting about it. Okay, they make a short little, oh, we don't, we take this seriously. We cracked out on this. Oh, zero tolerance, blah, 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 blah. And they're suspended for one day. Day. oh no oh and they don't have to give back the prize money oh and uh fabrizio he was cheating for like six years straight and we're not doing anything about it so yay esport take us seriously everybody take us seriously so their latest uh take us seriously is giving away a million dollars even though like i said they pretty much had to mathematically they were at least like three quarters of the way there i mean this is you add more players you got to pay more money that's another reason you shouldn't do teams just wait until they realize they need like triple the judges too that'll be fun so nobody takes the magic pro scene seriously because they know that if somebody won f for sure, for certain, if they won a sealed tournament, they cheated. I mean, there is like, it's like cycling, pro cycling, like 10 years ago or whatever. There's about a 90 to 95% chance that those people were cheating. And if you look at their deck list, it's like, oh, four glory bringers out of four packs. Well, must have been your lucky day. Oh, and you won six tournaments in the past two? Well, you are literally a leprechaun. It's a joke. It's an insult. Everybody knows everybody's cheating. And from what I heard, it's uh, out of all the players that show up, it's like 25% plus that are adding cards to their pool. And out of the top 16, it's virtually 100%. If somebody adds cards that you didn't have and has a natural advantage when you get a complete garbage pile for a, 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 a pool to build from, yeah, they're going to beat you. There's no luck, there's no variance, they have like a 99% chance of winning with that many glory bringers. It, that was just an insult. That entire tournament was an insult to everybody's intelligence. Then you got, allegedly, the alleged story that allegedly was allegedly Channel Fireball, allegedly, as a team, allegedly. Or so I've heard, it's just a rumor, don't sue me. They were using illegal hand signals during a tournament live on stream. The stream caught them on camera, and so what did they do? Did they disqualify and penalize them, game loss? Uh, suspension. Normally, yes, but this is Team Channel Fireball, and they would not get kicked out of a tournament if they literally sacrificed a goat in the middle of the top eight. Like, on the table, like, slap down a mana, and then somebody's like, oh, you have to sacrifice a creature, and they're like, oh, but I don't have any creatures on the battlefield. Hold on. Get a goat out of your backpack, boom, and chop its head off live on stream. They still would be like, can you guys not? And then no suspension. So, allegedly, they were signaling information to each other that you're not, you're, like, you're not allowed to talk to your teammates for a very, very specific reason. It's cheating. It gives you an advantage over everybody else. If they wanted you to communicate with your teammates, they would let you do it. So, I don't remember exactly when or the circumstances, but many people reported that this happened live. Guess what they did? They made the team members sit farther apart. No penalty. I'm not even sure they technically told them to stop doing it. They're just like, well, maybe they have poor enough vision that they won't be able to see it if they're twice as far apart. So, like, that's what they did. Allegedly. I still don't have a clip of this. If anybody has a clip of this, oh my god, I will upload the crap out of that. So, yeah, if you're already working in a team of three and all three of you decide to cheat instead of just one, then, um, yeah, you're gonna win. Because then it's, uh, it's it, it amplifies it. There's more matches and... 
it lowers the natural luck variance, and then all that's left is skill and cheating. So anybody who wins these prizes, you gotta put in the back of your mind, well, but did they did they cheat to get there? Did they even earn that money? Because like I said, Fabrizio was cheating for like four, five, six years in a row. Maybe. I mean, I can't imagine he just started cheating lately. He won like so many freaking Grand Prix. It's just ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And it was because he was uh, stacking his deck to weave the mana and then not letting his opponent um, cut. Or no, I think he was letting him cut, but he himself wasn't shuffling at all. So seriously, I mean, it's a shame he went up against apparently 100% mentally challenged opponents because at FNM, if I'm sitting there doing a trade on the right of me and like, I don't know, like I'm helping somebody file their taxes on the left side, I'm still going to catch it even if I'm 0-3 with the record if my opponent doesn't shuffle. I am not going to miss that. If we're playing for $50,000 prize money at a giant tournament, laser beam eyes on your deck. If you so much as sneeze, I'm going to recount your deck to see if it has 60 cards in it. If you try to pull mana weaving and not shuffling at that level of a tournament and your opponent doesn't catch it, holy crap, your opponent might actually be legitimately blind. And even then, they'd be like, I didn't hear you shuffle it. Because there was that one blind dude, and he actually did really good. So how these people are not getting caught, I don't know. But I suspect it's because Wizards, for PR reasons, does not want to catch cheaters. It is in their best interest to just let it go for two important reasons. And this is still just my opinion. First, everybody loves an MTG celebrity. Oh, look at this person. They keep winning. They must be so much better than everybody else. No, everybody at the tournament's almost the exact same skill level. And... As long as you don't make mistakes, it all comes down to draw luck. Simple shuffle and draw luck. So if you want to win over and over and over recurringly, you have to cheat. That is the only way it'll ever happen. Trust me. But Wizards wants people to fanboy over people. They, they don't want a different winner at the Grand Prix than the Pro Tours every single time. That doesn't work. Well, with, you know, 1,500 to 3,000 people showing up to these tournaments, sorry, but the same person can't win every time unless they're cheating. That's just math, probability, reality, whatever you want to call it. Quantum physics, sure, why not? Probably. And the number two reason is because it makes them look bad. Because if you catch cheating at your tournaments and then announce that this person was suspended because you found them cheating, then guess what? You're announcing that there's cheating at the tournaments. At least that's the idiotic way that they appear to see it. I see it a little bit different way, which is, hey, look, we caught seven cheaters at this uh, tournament. We suspect that that's very nearly all of them. Come to the tournament and try to cheat, get caught. Boom, chilling effect. Nobody cheats anymore. It's completely the opposite of what they appear to be doing. So they, in, in my opinion, they sweep it under the rug. They ignore it. They make it as small of a deal as possible. I would parade these people around, make an example of them. I would never let Fabrizio play another game of Magic in his entire life. I would delete his DCI number and sue him for the prize money. That is what I would do. So, the problem I have with the million dollar giveaway is one, it's not, two, they kind of had to, and three, everybody who wins the money is cheating. And really, that third point is, is a bit of a major issue that some people have taken up with Pro Magic. So, Wizards, clean it up. If you want to ever be respected as some kind of, you know, watchable streaming event, let alone an eSport, which, by the way, the cards do not have anything to do with electricity except that the foil ones conduct electricity. I found that out the hard way. Yeah, I took a couple million volt shock to the entire left side of my body when I touched the card. Watch the video, it's hilarious. But yes, I assure you, I am not exaggerating this. What killed competitive StarCraft in South Korea? Match fixing, cheating, and drug use. So cheating, cheating, and cheating. People lost all respect for it. They stopped watching it because they're just like, what is the point? It, everybody's cheating. I mean, so many people have been caught cheating, and they've been doing it for so long because you let them get away with cheating. Why would I even watch a match? I mean, unless you, it's like a WWE thing and you already know that the winner's determined and you're just watching it to see what happens. But that's not why people watch competitive games, like truly competitive games with actual prizes in the real world, uh, you know, for stake. So yeah, Wizards is walking a fine line here. I would just catch everybody cheating and just do a mass ban and say, hey, we've been easy on it. Now we're not. Now it's a respectable esport. Boom, watch it. I mean, I would actually maybe watch the coverage of like a Grand Prix if I knew that it wasn't just a bunch of cheaters just trying to out-cheat each other because what the hell is the point of that? So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the problem's not as bad as I thought, but insiders and longtime pros and people who heard whispers from other people are saying differently, and I would trust them over Wizards PR department any day of the week. 
So yeah, this million dollar giveaway, don't watch the coverage, don't bother. I doubt that by then they're going to change their stance on cheating and get, you know, hardcore with catching them. I mean, at least it's a constructed tournament, not sealed where it's way easier to cheat. But one thing is certain, people on Reddit are going to watch every frame of that coverage, like one frame at a time saying, hey, this guy double drop land, this guy drew two cards, this guy uh, let his opponent miss a trigger on purpose, which I think is against the rules now. You know, they're just going to tear him apart because it's not just, oh, another Pro Tour, another Grand Prix, oh, look, somebody was, oh, made a mistake. No, this is like a million dollars you're giving away? Yeah, people are going to be watching and demanding the money back. So whoever wins, I feel sorry for them because if they even make, like, an honest mistake, they are going to get torn apart for this level of money. So it should be interesting when it rolls around September 2018. So uh, don't watch it, but watch for the news around it, and I'll see you guys next video.